for Easter time, we made a trip to St. Louis uh, to see Sister Jean. We stopped in Effingham, Illinois to pick up my mother and father who came up by train uh, from Miami and New Orleans. Effingham was at one time a very important railroad junction where the main lines uh, east and west between New York and uh, LA and north and south between Chicago and New Orleans crossed and this was a very important junction and must have had a huge uh, amount of traffic. But by 1971 it was almost deserted. Uh, very few trains through, uh, tremendous platforms, uh, all this equipment uh, and really very little and nothing going on there. It was almost like a, a ghost town uh, around this around this railroad station. But there was one train a day at least going uh, from New Orleans to Chicago. My folks were on it and here it comes and Connie was waiting for it. Uh, we picked them up here and went on to St. Louis to visit Sister Jean uh, and saw some of the sights in St. Louis. We were not able to go up into the arch because it was too cloudy. It wasn't anything to see. And that was the day before Easter. And the next morning was Easter morning, and this is what we saw out of our hotel window. Uh, snow. A very heavy, very wet and sloppy and unpleasant uh, spring snowstorm. And so what we basically did was to get back in the car and, and go back to Indiana. When we got back to Indiana, there was no snow. Uh, the spring was coming to Indiana, and the trees were in bud, and the flowers were starting to bloom and the new season was upon us. And as, as glorious as the fall had been uh, there in that area, uh, spring was even more so. Uh, the dogwoods, uh, pink and white, the redbud, uh, all the various uh, flowers and, and uh, fruit trees. And of course, the warm weather, the students came outside. Dunn Meadow is a gathering place outside the Union uh, where all sorts of games took place and people would come and study. And, People would simply sit and enjoy the good weather and study out of doors. It was such a joy to be outside after the winter. And here are some of the colors on the campus. Uh, really uh, a beautiful, beautiful place at this time of year. Here's a big redbud tree. Uh, this is next to the Everman Apartments where we had, had lived uh, the previous fall. And here we are back at the Bean Blossom Overlook. As you see, all those trees are dogwoods. I had a photography class uh, that spring semester. As Professor Stevens there on the left, it was a wonderful time of year to have photography class. And I traveled all around the campus and all around the, the countryside really taking pictures and took uh, amazing, uh, a lot, a lot of pictures of all kinds. Uh, the subject matter, of course, was everywhere you looked. This is a rock garden, I think, on First Street or First Avenue there in Bloomington. Uh, everybody in the town had flowers. Uh, here's a huge bush of forsythia that Connie's standing in front of. This is in May, and uh, at this point she was about six and a half, seven months pregnant. Uh, this is a lady who lived in a, a house there near the campus. We uh, were out walking one day and came upon her garden and struck up a, uh, an acquaintance with her. She had wonderful flowers, was very friendly, and was very pleased for us to have some uh, of her flowers and also some of her vegetables. She had some excellent rhubarb. Uh, here's some of her flowers. Here's some irises. Here's some poppies. I'd never seen poppies growing anywhere before. And this enormous peony blossom, a single peony. Really a beautiful spot. And a dogwood and, and redbud. One of uh, my major uh, photography project was a slideshow about Spring Mill State Park, a uh, historic park. Uh, about 60 miles south of Bloomington, uh, where there had been a, an early pioneer settlement uh, which grew up around a big grist mill, uh, which had been restored along with some of the settlement around it. It made uh, interesting subject matter. I was able to go into some of the history and also show some of the, the building itself. 
it was an interesting project and uh, it took a great deal of my time. And of course, uh, this is always my, my favorite subject matter was Connie. Her friend Karen Lennon came to see us from New York that May. Uh, we went, took her to Nashville as we did everyone. We took my folks there a couple of times, or several times. Uh, this is at the State Park in Nashville. And the two friends uh, enjoyed each other's company. I believe Karen uh, took these two pictures of, uh, of the county here by the covered bridge. As you can see, the weather's much warmer now. And on a rainy day, apparently, in Nashville. Nashville was a very artistic place. There's an artist colony there. One of the artists is a man named Kenneth Reeve. This is his home and studio up in the mountain. And uh, we visited him and, and bought uh, one, of his, uh, one of his paintings, a big watercolor called Hurricane Creek, which we still have uh, to this day. Uh, but summer was coming and was spreading all across the campus. Uh, yet another season. Uh, beautiful lush greenery on campus. This is the uh, president's home. Uh, it was a wonderful, in the early, early summer, wonderful time for picnics on the hill uh, above Campus View House. And one of the other uh, important events in that area, of course, at this time of year in May, late May, is the Indianapolis 500. We didn't get to go to the race, but we did get to go to the track to see some of the time trials, uh, which was quite a treat for me because I had always uh, heard of the, ra the race, of course, and the track. Uh, 